now we're going to get into more of the health aspects. Um, you already answered one of the questions about, you know, when you first realized there's a connection with HHO um, or Brown's gas and hydrogen health treatments, you know, based on the feedback from your customers when you're developing the, uh, the fuel savers. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into the next question. And, and by the way, you look great. Um, you know, you, you, you know, your complexion, everything, you, you, you look, you, you look great. As I looked at some of the, er, you know, the earlier footage, you know, a couple of years back and uh, you just look fantastic. You know, you've, you've lost, uh, you know, couple of years and uh, yeah, you're looking great. So, uh, so what are the benefits of um, hydrogen treatment and you know, what has it done for you? Okay, good question. I actually have a list here because I, I, I forget. I, when I, I'll just say uh, in a preliminary thing, mm -hmm. when I started inhaling the gas, I did so just to prove that it was safe. I didn't try to, uh, I didn't do it because I thought I was sick. I didn't know all the things. I just I, it was just normal. So as I'm as I'm listing off this litany here, just remember that I didn't really think I was sick. I thought I was I thought I was healthy, and this is just normal aging and that sort of thing. My personal to date rejuvenation. Okay, so as of this time, I'm nearly 61 years old. Uh, I now look like I did when I was 45. When the because uh, you can look at previous pictures and and you can see. And also, I I have to say, in addition to this list. The Browns gas really saved my life in wow. one way, in, in two ways. First of all, it gave me a reason, something to do, mm -hmm. okay, uh, because I didn't feel like doing anything. I, I pretty much, when my, when my uh, wife died, I, I pretty much lost the, the, the will to even breathe. It, it was bad. It was the worst thing I'd ever felt in my entire life, and I've had bones crushed and, and all kinds of things. I grew up on a cattle ranch. That was the worst. And, and, and grief, yeah, it can kill. I can, I can definitely see that. You just stop wanting to live. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not like you wanted to kill yourself. You just have no interest in living. Mm -hmm. So it gave me an interest in living. But the other thing it did was it, it gave me my libido back. And I, I had not realized how much, how little or whatever. Uh, and it got really embarrassing there for a while because I was interested in women. <laughs> well, it, was, it was more invigorated. It had, it just, it, it's part your body. is part of that process, that healing process, just invigorated all aspects of, of you. Exactly. And I'm telling you, it's impossible to feel uh, that you don't want to live anymore mm -hmm. if you are wanting sex all the time. It's just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So back to what's going on here. All right. So the first thing that disappeared was the psoriasis on my, wow. on my elbows, knees, and feet. Mm -hmm. I had thick peeling skin and I grew up on a cattle ranch. So I, and I had lots of calluses and stuff like that. So I just thought that was normal. I thought that was calluses, what have you. I didn't realize it wasn't until that skin started to peel off like a snake uh, yeah. loses skin, and underneath was smooth, baby smooth skin, and it was it was disconcerting, of course. Uh, but but having the skin peel off like that, but the result was absolutely amazing, and and that's what convinced me to continue inhalation. Um, and then uh, the arthritis in my hands, I I'd had pain in my knuckles, and and uh, and I I got full functionality and, and no and pain-free hands again mm -hmm. so that was another good thing uh my tinnitus i had it was getting hard to hear people speak yes. with yeah. a loud ringing in my ears and now i only get tinnitus a little bit when i get under severe stress so it mm -hmm. is a stress related thing at least for me fascinating and uh and i can know i'm under stress when i, I oh i hear a little bit of his whispering hissing in the back of my <laughs> ears there so i pay attention to the uh to the stress thing um neuropathies mm -hmm. I have been losing the feeling in my left palm and in the fronts of my both my shins. The doctors didn't know why the fronts of the shins, but they said that the palm thing had to do with a nerve in my elbow, and uh, and she touched it and it hurt and and, and that was uh, understandable. But mm -hmm. the, uh, as I was doing it, I got full feeling back in the palm of my hand, and and as that happened, then I realized suddenly that I had full feeling back in my in the fronts of my shins. Now wow. again. All of this, I just thought was normal aging. I didn't. I thought I was healthy, right? Yeah. So my my hair was going gray and bald on top, and you can't see because how much hair is here because the uh, mm -hmm. the background in the zoom is is uh, taking it out, so it looks yes, like yeah. I am. But um, but my hair is is uh, growing back to where it was before. And, wow. In my wow. Previous pictures and and I'm I'm gray again now instead of pure white. Mm -hmm. And I had uh, a complete white mustache, and as you can see, the uh, I'm getting this. The, the colors returned. Coming back, yep, it's yeah. great. And um, 
the next thing that was interesting was like I had moved from the west to the east, and when I moved to the east, it was hard to get a doctor, so it took a little bit of time. And when they when I finally did get a doctor, they did a full um, uh, physical on me, and it, for the records and what have you. And mm -hmm. in the process, I said I have a heart murmur, and because mm -hmm. I've had one since I was a child. Mm -hmm. And he said, No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was a surprise for me. And, uh, it, which brings me quickly to uh, my father. I gave him one of these machines, mm -hmm. and I didn't know that he was going in for heart surgery. And his prognosis was poor because he wasn't telling anybody about that. Mm -hmm. I, I just gave it to him because I wanted him to be around for a lot longer. And, uh, and so he started religiously in, inhaling the gas and drinking the water. And he had his heart surgery. And when he came out, he healed so fast, the doctors, it was back, they, they couldn't understand it. Because they, they thought he may not even heal at all, but he just yes, healed yeah. it. So it really helps on those sort of things. Okay, the next thing that happened was I noticed that all my warts were gone. I, I had hand warts, yeah. again, since I was a kid, and I had planter's wart on my, on my foot. Mm -hmm. And it would, it would grow, and I'd have to clip it off because it was like a stone in my shoe if I didn't. And mm -hmm. I said, well, I hadn't had to do that for a while. And I looked at my hands, and, and my warts were gone. So my immune system got strong enough to get rid of a virus, warts or virus, oh. that uh, that I'd had since childhood. So my, and and that brought me uh, parts of the understanding that um, the body needs the hydrogen, and if you're okay. not getting the hydrogen, the body is able to uh, maintain life by shutting down things. Like if you're getting hypothermia, yeah, the body will shut off heat or blood circulation to your extremities to preserve core temperature. Mm -hmm. But if you're not getting enough hydrogen then what happens is the body starts to shut down what it considers to be extraneous systems that are not immediately life-threatening. So the first thing to go is your regeneration system, which mm -hmm. is skin cells and that sort of thing, and then your immune systems, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of different immune systems, but they start to go and then people get sick, mm -hmm. and then your organs start to shut down. And at that point, it's it's pretty much gonna be game over. But yeah. as, you, as you have the hydrogen, then your organs start to recover, like my heart murmur regained, mm -hmm. and your immune systems come back online, which again, that got rid of my warts, and then, the next thing I noticed was that all my scars were gone. And I had quite a few scars on my, on my body. And, and are these, my, these are old scars? I'm old sorry, scars these, from, yeah. from childhood, okay? And I hadn't done anything particular mm. to them. I hadn't put any oil on them or any soft or anything like that. I was just inhaling the gas and drinking the water. 